morning. Tessie, thank you very much and welcome to this very important meeting. And it's been my, um, my personal ambition, really, to be able to do a conversation like this with you on stage for many years now. Um, I've known you since the 1990s when right. Banco de Oro was a small little bank um, in the Greenbelt area. And um, you were, at that time, more of a retailer than a banker, mm. would you say? I'm still a retailer this time. And if you're a retailer, um, I guess the inevitable question would be um, to first ask you, what are the essential instincts of a retailer that you think is very different from that of a bank banker? Um, yeah, I... Um uh, I started my career as a retailer, and I'm still a retailer at the same time. Uh, I think the, the difference is that in, as a retailer, you emphasize on customer service, and because it's very difficult to get, uh, to get the sales, so you, do, you, you have to really be innovative in the customer service. So we, uh, we are you know, doing this in the banking area, translating into another, in, into the financial industry. Um, so we are, um, we always focus on customer service, be it on the front line or in the back end. And do you like bankers? I guess it's uh, quite interesting. Um, the, um, there's a difference between the retail and the, and the banking from my perspective. In retail, um, your assets is actually with you until you're paid. But in the bank, in the banking industry, your assets are with the uh, with the borrower until they are until they are paid. So with that, you have to go extra mile to make sure that the um, the the customer will always be with you, will pay you regularly, and also will bring you additional business. And as a um, retailer, we uh, I see the banking from a different aspect, and maybe that has been the one that has helped us in some ways. I have really good banking organ, organ I mean, uh, banking executives. My, uh, we're blessed with the good organizations, um, and the the difference that maybe I bring to the table is that I always look for ways to, um, uh, to, uh, uh, you know, to get the customer. And I guess most of our, um, uh, the, the team, our team right now is very focused on that. So uh, our president coined the word, we find ways, and that has reverberated in the whole organization as well as uh, for the customer. So whenever there are some financial needs, uh, we usually try to find ways to tailor it to service their needs. So in this area, we usually go to where the non-traditional bankers would go to because we were, I mean, we still are the new kids on the block. Uh, Banco de Oro is not known because we just became, we just, uh, we're in the limelight only on 208. So uh, we have to really be very innovative in, the, um, in, in uh, getting clients and in getting a bigger shares of their wallet. Take us back again to your family. Um, how did your family get into retailing, and what would you say uh, are the instincts in your family on in retailing that, that you, that's very clearly a, a hallmark of your family? Uh, you know, with all the retails, and if you have a lot of retail friends, you know how hard they work. And we have to be very hardworking. We work long hours, and that's why our, um, our bank is open up to Sunday. Um, while other banks would have to go, uh, and also up to about six o'clock. You, you you started that. You you started that phenomenon, or you still? We started that up to. We started the six six o'clock ever since we were small, and when we have expanded, we had to uh, get a bigger share of the market. Uh, our our organization thought of going into Saturday, and then eventually into Sunday opening. So the we also have our branches in the malls. Uh, yeah, by the way, we, have, uh, we also have the mall divisions in our group. So in all the malls, and we have about 43 malls in the Philippines, each of them have uh, 
uh, has Banco de Oro. And it's open up to uh, Sunday, 6 or 7 o'clock, depending upon the demands of the clients. There was a time when you were a huge retailer. You couldn't go to any city in the Philippines without seeing an SM mall and a very small bank. Yes. And just about every other bank in the Philippines would look at your retail business. It's like going to Carrefour or going to um, Walmart today and saying, can we put a little you know, ATM here, a branch there sort of thing. Um, did you have a grand plan to add financial services to your retail, your established retail uh, franchise at that point? Yes, I think in the 90s we, we saw the mall growing and we thought, why don't, that, I, I guess they each came when we thought, why don't we grow also the bank? Uh, that time, the banks were not as retail-minded as now. I mean, the other banks were not retail-minded as now. There was only BPI and uh, I think Far East Bank, which is uh, already absorbed as BPI, that was looking into our, our malls. And the, the rest were not even conscious about it. They were all more on the commercial banking and on the corporate banking side. So only BPI was on the consumer. So there, weren't, there wasn't a queue to you asking you to uh, give access and so on. You, you had time to build your own uh, financial services, uh, services around your malls. Yes, they were not conscious. Is, is banking inferior to retailing? No. <laughs> no. It's more cerebra, c cerebral than retailing. Banking is more cerebral. And retailing is? It's uh, more, you know, uh, it's more of the heart. It's a, it's a passion. And if you, if any, <laughs> yeah, no, no. I mean, but if there's more, uh, there's more emotion in it, right. in the retail. What made SM grow so quickly, the malls? Was it uh, growing at the back of a growing population, growing affluence? Growing affluence, growing populations, all of this are uh, come into play, and the uh, and and the uh, the desire to take risks in a, in a, in the Philippines, which many people do not really see until until this year. We could go on and on with a lot more questions, but I think there's as much time as we have, and we'd like to thank you for having spent time with us this morning. In fact, um, after knowing that we were going to, uh, you know, you will be in Singapore and so on, uh, on a flight I saw this, and I was very, very pleased to see uh, the recognition that you have now globally uh, uh, as, as one of the most accomplished. I, I was not, I was not expecting that. You know, I would be, I would be more conscious had I known that I would be on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> you look good, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Because I didn't know that I would be on the cover. If I had known I'd be on the cover, maybe I would not look like that. 